We are now ready to add our end stops. These are the end stops that we'll be using, or they're also called limit switches. They have a mechanical uh, lever here that, that causes the uh, a snap action. Uh, we'll start out with the Y axis, and we're gonna add the limit switch in this location, and we'll add a screw to this location, which we can unscrew and screw in to determine um, or to adjust the, uh, the position where this can be to stop or to provide an end stop and the, the cable will be uh, coming out of this end here and will we'll follow within this conduit of cable going down to the motherboard. Before we add the limit switch, I'm going to add a, a screw in this location so I'll know where to put my limit switch. But I will also want to know where the screw should be located in this direction. I'm just going to mark that with a pencil. I will center the hole in this location. I'm going to make a pilot hole just slightly smaller than the screw that I'll be using. You want to make it as straight as possible. I went a little low on the screw, so make sure that you do a really good job in uh, making a, a line that is accurate. Uh, but I, what I did is I just found a screw with a larger head so it still works. You can see that it activates the the limit switch when it gets to the end. I still have a little bit left to go. So I'm going to place the, the limit switch in this location. I'll probably bring it a little bit farther back and unscrew this screw just a little bit so I don't have these screws on the edge of, of this piece. The next limit switch for the x-axis, which actually may, um, to make it a little simpler, may be actually the y-axis, because I'm going to put the limit switch in this position over here, and this will cause the, the table to be at zero when the, um, when the table is positioned in this location. So when the, when the table goes in this direction, the y will be in the plus direction this, in this way, and then when the um, x-axis, which is um, you can consider this Y or X when it goes into the plus, then it goes plus in this direction. So this will be the zero, zero point right here. And it's, um, the best way to do this is to make sure the table is in its zero position um, while you're installing the switch. I'm going to install the switch here and then after I install the switch I'll probably put it on some standoffs or spacers so I can get it over the table and right around here I'll have a screw that will hit the mechanical lever. Find an area that has no holes in it already. When I was putting in the, <clears throat> the limit switches, I noticed that the spacer that I had was a little bit too short or too long, so I took a spacer and I cut it in half, and that should work fine. Before we put in the screw to hit the, the mechanical switch, we'll need to know where the table needs to be for that to happen. So I'm going to push this back and I'm going to go until the metal is, um, the rail is actually a little bit on, uh, only has a little bit left to go um, on this bearing. So I will place the, I'm going to place the, the screw in this location. So I'll place the screw in this location to mark it and then I'll drill.
Okay, the Z-axis limit switch will be located in this area here. But first I want to put the trigger uh, mechanism which will be another screw and uh, this is a number six screw you can probably use a number eight as well and I am going to locate it in the bottom hole of the strong tie rail and I can screw it in a little bit and once we know there with the once we know where this location once we know the location of the screw we can go ahead and locate the we can go ahead and locate the <coughs> limit switch. Okay. So the limit switch will be located right here. And I want to locate it while it's being triggered. So that's going to be right on the edge. Okay. okay. And now that you know the position of the screw, it can be positioned more accurately. And if you need, you can put a washer or some nuts on this side to make this area a little bit larger. As I move up, it should hit. Yes. Okay. Now we we'll need to connect it. Okay. The Z-axis limit switch cable is going to be routed around the back, so it will have a, a lesser chance of getting snagged by these um, V-groove bearings and it seems to stay out of the way if we route it around this this way. And then I'm going to bring it through the wire tie in this location here and it should be able to reach the motherboard and in the motherboard we're going to plug it in into the z-axis minimum I'm oh, sorry, the z-axis maximum. The y-axis cable will be inserted here and routed through the same wire tie. Since I'll be using this limit switch for the x-axis, I will be plugging this one into the x-axis min which is on the top okay now we have the one more to go that's the, the y-axis now I'm gonna bring it back around here it's gonna be routed underneath underneath the table. And then plugged into the Y min, or Y minimum. Now since I reversed the X and Y to make this the, the zero zero mark, I will also need to reverse the X, the X and Y drivers uh, for the um, for control out the X and Y, bring the Y to the X position, bring the X to the Y position. So now my table is the Y axis, so when the table moves in this direction, I'm going up on the Y, and the Y is going in that direction, and when my, when my, um, when this part of the machine is moving in this direction, it's going in the plus X direction, so you can look at the the table in this orientation, you'll see X is going in, um, in this direction, plus, and Y is going in this direction, plus. And you have your origin in this corner. 